Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be looking at the Barbarian skill Bash, and hey, don't turn off the video just yet. I know it's an ability that nobody likes, but I have something to teach you about this ability that you probably don't know. Bash is a very simple and deceptively silly ability that you walk up to a monster and literally bash them in the face, and after you bash them in the face, they run away and, you know, they, they, they get knocked back because you hit them so hard with your bashing basher ability that they have no choice but to be bashed backwards like this. It's right, I will bash you into the wall. Now, bash does have some synergies. Um, it does have a 5% damage per level from stun, and it has a 5% attack rating per level from concentrate, which does make this an interesting ability in for a concentrate or stun barbarian, or both. And uh, it also is the synergy for double swing, so if you are going to build a double swing barbarian, like my double swing barbarian here, um, you're going to have to put 20 points into bash. Now, Bash has a couple things that go up on it as you level it up. Number one, it gets a uh, attack rating increase. And number two, it gets a damage percentage increase. And then number three, it gets a very odd damage plus number increase. The damage plus number is actually the part of the ability that you probably have no clue about because it's weird and it doesn't work the way that you think it does. The damage plus number actually applies after everything. For some reason or another, um, when the damage calculation is being determined, the character screen, of course, is lying to you, um, it doesn't actually apply the 23 damage at the beginning of the calculation, at the middle of the calculation, or even, like, towards the end of the calculation. No, it, it actually applies the 23 damage at the very end of the line, after everything. <laughs> and uh, this means that it has a very weird ability that um, a lot of people aren't aware of. When you are fighting a monster that is physically immune and you try attacking that monster, one thing that you will notice right away is that, well, you cannot steal life from the monster. The monster is essentially immune, right? So you are unable to actually dish out any damage, and because you can't dish out damage, you can't steal life. But because of Bash's strange ability that allows it to dish out its damage at the end of the calculation, it actually functions as a form of lifesteal on monsters that cannot be stolen from. So when I attack this immune to physical monster with Bash, you will notice that the lifesteal proc modifier is actually appearing above my head because the damage modifier, the 23 damage that's on the ability, is actually being applied at the end of the calculation and is allowing me to steal life from a monster that I should not be able to steal life from. Which means that as a double swing barbarian, a concentrate barbarian, or any of the above, you can utilize that strange damage modifier to survive in encounters with physically immune monsters that you would not otherwise be able to. This makes Bash a very weird ability in the uh, Barbarian's arsenal that it actually comes in kind of handy in certain situations. Now granted, to get this you actually have to level up the Bash ability because the plus damage modifier doesn't actually have a lot of damage otherwise. So let's go to a uh, Barbarian real quick and uh, let's play around with how many points we would have to put into Bash to get the effectiveness out of it. A little bit of power boost here. <coughs> no, really, it says power boost on it, see? It's Vegeta. Vegeta power boost, Genkai! <laughs> Shut up. So let's go ahead and reset this, buddy. And uh, it looks like it goes up, let's see, it's at plus 8 right now, plus 9, 10, 11. So it looks like we go up plus 1 damage per level. And that is, unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to get that mystical, magical lifesteal through the physical immunes. Uh, that, that plus damage effect is not actually affected by the plus damage percent modifier that's on the ability. So to get that magical number, you have to actually put hard points into the ability. And that's the, uh, that's the only way it's going to be useful. Now, granted, if you have a lot of plus to skills, like, uh, for instance, if you're wearing a lot of 
equipment that has Plasta skills on it. You've got your Annie, you've got your torch, maybe you're wearing a Bull Cathos ring, whatever it may be. You're going to be able to get that a lot higher than um, than you think with only just one point in it. Uh, because, like, for instance, if I just go ahead and throw some points in strength here, you'll notice that just one point I'm already sitting at uh, 14, which is not bad. And, um, you know, just a couple points into it could bring it up to, like, 20 or 30 and probably still make it pretty useful for dishing out damage to targets that are physically immune. Let's go uh, play around with it real quick in Arcane Sanctuary and see how well it works with just 14 points. Do I got this set to P8? I probably do have it set to P8. I usually do. These characters are not normally set up for E8. They're just set up for testing purposes. So I don't want to like make things unnecessarily hard for myself. We got some ghosties here, which is exactly what I need. So I should be able to steal life from this these ghosties with the bash ability. Of course, I need some mana potions. I totally forgot about that. Hold on. We can just drink a row of these. I've heard. I always hate how Drognan doesn't refill your mana. It always feels like such a con, considering that he sells you the mana potions to begin with, that he doesn't actually give you any mana. So it looks like I can still effectively steal life with this, even in the 14. It's not like the greatest or anything, but it works. It looks like to really get the best benefit out of it, if you wanted to use it for stealing life from physical immunes, would probably be to max it out. Because it does look like to me that it's not doing quite as much as it was on my double swing barbarian let's try it with the maxed out version here it's not a lot it really is not a lot of lifesteal that's for sure but it does in fact steal life which is kind of funny <laughs> bash now uh, let's talk about bash a little bit as an ability just for the fun of it bash knocks targets back this is not a good thing in pvp i mean i'm sorry in pvp this is not a good thing in uh, in pve it's not a good thing in, in when you're trying to kill monsters most of the time when you're a melee character you don't want to knock the monsters away from you it's silly why would you want to do that? Um, which makes Bash more of an ability I think you would use when you're trying to stay alive. Like, for instance, if you're in the middle of a whole bunch of monsters, you could rotate and use Bash to keep the monsters away from you, uh, which is something that I've actually done before with Bash as a, like, survival ability. But I feel like if you're going to go for a survival ability, you're probably better off just getting Leap. But just as a, just as a funny kind of, like, show of how the ability works let's just stand in the middle of a bunch of monsters and we're just gonna like try to knock the monsters away from ourselves like this so you're just like sitting here knocking the monsters away from you one at a time and as you knock them away, you go to the next one that's close to you, and you just keep knocking them away from you. And in this way, you prevent the monsters from getting off as much damage because you're knocking them away in sequence. Then they have to run back to you to take another swing, and you would basically be preventing them from dishing a large amount of damage to you in that time period. Now, the problem with this, though, and then I've noticed with knockback abilities when you're trying to do this specifically, is that if you are surrounded 
too much. If there is a monster behind the monster that you're trying to hit, well, they don't go anywhere. They're not going to get knocked back if there's nowhere for them to get knocked back to. Um, and this is a way that you can utilize knockback skills or knockback weapons to your advantage is, number one, find a wall to knock the monster back up against. Number two, you also can knock the monster up against other monsters, in which case they won't be able to move either. Um, and, for instance, Smite, which is a paladin ability that has knockback on it as well, is kind of in the same boat. You would find a monster and you'd knock them back up against a wall, and when you knock them back up against a wall, they just get headbanged into the wall. They can't go anywhere. Um, and so if you're going to use Bash in that regard, you're going to want to do the same exact thing, which is position them so that they're getting knocked up against the wall. Now, the cool thing about this, though, is that as they are knocked up against the wall, let me um, get a weapon that's a little bit less damage. Um, as they're knocked up against the wall, you don't necessarily have to worry about... Let's use this one. That sounds like fun. You don't necessarily have to worry about them anymore. Because when they're up against the wall, they can't move. They can't do anything. As they're getting knocked back against the wall, they're stuck in a never-ending cycle of knockback. And uh, I'd like to find one of the big boys out here and show you what it's like to kind of just, like, headbang, lock a monster into the wall. And uh, here we go. We got um, one of these big boys. Let me go ahead and throw my bash on... They're going to hey bang knock me into the wall. Hey, 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 hey. Freaking holy fire, holy freeze, butt face. I don't like it. He's trying to be mean to me. <laughs> of course, I can't hit anything with this one. Come over here. Well, this weapon is a lot higher damage than I thought it was going to be. I picked this weapon because I was like, hey, you know, let's let's pick a weapon that's a low damage weapon so I can show you what it's like to hit bang a monster into the wall. But no. Nah. Um, one of the issues, though, with this is it really just doesn't do enough damage compared to other abilities. Um, if you're going to compare Bash to something like... Stun, Concentrate, Berserk. Like, these abilities tend to do a lot more damage just in general. Berserk, obviously, is a non-physical damage ability. Um, Concentrate gives you some nice defense buffs. There are definitely some very interesting other abilities besides Bash, and they don't knock back the targets, which is actually kind of nice. Um, Stun also doesn't knock back the targets and will give you the same kind of effect that Bash does if you're knocking a monster up against the wall. And you don't have to knock them up against the wall because Stun will literally stun the monster, and then you won't have to worry about having to uh, headbang them into the wall. Overall, Bash is just a mediocre ability from the very beginning of the game that does well as a synergy for some more important abilities, and has an interesting quirk that allows you to lifesteal through physical immune, uh, immune characters. But um, overall, it's not an ability that you're going to generally build a character around. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're talking about a silly skill like Bash. And uh, as always, keep watching.